Hey besties, welcome or welcome back. Today I have some amazing hacks for you for fall and one of them includes using this Tide Pod container. Stick around and see what I do with it. I've been wanting to make this for so long. I've got a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree, just one of the styrofoam ones. I've got a book that I use when I do book page DIYs. And then I'm gonna use some wax paper and some plastic wrap. I'm also gonna use some matte Mod Podge. I'm gonna pull out a piece of the wax paper. I'm gonna use that to craft on because when I'm using a lot of Mod Podge, that's better than regular paper, otherwise it might rip it apart. I'm gonna remove the stem that came with this pumpkin and take off the little tag. Next, I'm gonna pull out some pages from the book and I'm just gonna rip them out. And then I'm also gonna rip them in to little pieces because we are gonna decoupage these book pages all over this entire pumpkin. This is gonna be so pretty. It's very rustic, kind of a little bit on the shabby chic side, which is not my normal style, but I went for it this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna put a generous amount of Mod Podge on there and then it, little by little add each piece of paper and Mod Podge over the top. The plastic wrap is so I can hold the pumpkin once there's a ton of Mod Podge on it without it sticking to my fingers and sticking to everything. So you won't see me doing it, but it's just sitting there and as soon as I have a lot more Mod Podge on there, I will hold it on there and just kind of secure the pumpkin in my hand with that wrap and then you know keep Mod Podging the whole time. Now I've got about half of it done. I just wanted to show you and I'm gonna finish the rest. There it is. Isn't that cute? I just think it's adorable. I'm gonna take a wood stem out of that little bag from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna find one I like, but the pumpkin's not flat on the top, so I put another little stick in there to help raise that center up a little. Put a generous amount of hot glue and I'm just gonna set the stem right on the top and secure it and then wipe away the excess glue. I'm gonna take a couple of leaves and just put them on there with some hot glue. I love these leaves, the color of them. I don't have any more. I think I've just used up the last one. Gotta find some more and I cannot remember. I think I got them at Dollar Tree's. So I'll have to be on the lookout because that's just such a beautiful color of leaves. Now I'm gonna take some of the reindeer moss. I'm just gonna hot glue it around the top there. I just think that's a nice touch when you're doing something on the rustic side, you know, or the shabby chic side. I just think it looks so pretty. And really, that's it. This one is done. You could embellish it more if you want to, but I thought this was plenty because the book pages are busy enough. I absolutely love it. You know I'm a big fan of book page DIYs, and I do have a video. I'll put it in the description box of just book page DIYs, so I hope you enjoyed this. doilies at the Dollar Tree. I ended up only using one packet of two for this particular project. I've got this summer sign from the Dollar Tree. We're going to use the back side and then those little sticks or stems and then I'm going to use the pumpkin and truffle and plaster chalk paint by Waverly. I'm going to start painting the back and it's going to be just a heavy dry brush. I don't care if some of it shows through. I cut the doilies into two shapes of pumpkins, one small and one a little bit larger. I'll use the pumpkin to just lightly paint the first one and the truffle to paint the second one. And these are going to be such cute little doily pumpkins. Next, I'm just going to sand the surface of the sign that I painted and put some Mod Podge over the top. Then I'm going to take my Beacon Fabric Tack glue and I'm going to glue on the little doilies and it dries clear. It's the perfect glue for this. Now that I've got the doilies on, I'm gonna turn the sign over. I cut out a piece of craft paper or paper bag that was actually just slightly too small, so I used a furniture marker and ran around the edges. And now I'm going to hot glue the paper bag onto the back, which I like to finish my projects. And then I'm gonna use a piece of twine with hot glue and masking tape to secure the hanger on the back. I'm gonna use my miter shears. I get those on Amazon and they are in my Amazon store if you're interested. And I'm gonna cut two of these stems right in half because I want it to lay flatter on here. I'm gonna make a smaller one and a bigger one for each of the pumpkins. 
Now I'm going to embellish the pumpkins. I've got some leaves that I took off of some fall picks that I had sitting around from last year. They may have been from Hobby Lobby. I've got some acorns that came off a pig, and then I've got this pit berry garland. I'm going to cut four pieces, wrap it around my finger to give it that curly cue, and then hot glue two to each of the pumpkins. It's looking so cute. This is very rustic, almost shabby chic, I might say. And then I'm going to put some of the moss on there, and then I've got this three ply or three strand rope very thick from the Dollar Tree it's nautical rope and I'm just going to hot glue a piece around each side so I'm going to do four separate pieces then I'm going to cut one of the big strands and I'm just going to tie it in the middle and fray the ends by opening it up and hot glue to each pumpkin to make kind of a shabby bow I really love how this turns out. It's a lot more rustic and shabby than I usually do, but I was going for kind of a neutral look today on these projects, and I just thought this was beautiful. I was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest, but I totally changed it. Anyway, I really love this one. It was so easy to do, too. So I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. two wire baskets that are white from the office supply section at Dollar Tree, or it's either that or with the storage stuff. I've got truffle and pumpkin chalk paint by Waverly. I've got a little branch that I got from Dollar Tree and a couple of leaves. I've also got some moss. I'm gonna take my pumpkin chalk paint. I'm just gonna lightly dry brush all over the underneath side of both of these little wire trays. I'm gonna take the truffle and do the same thing. We're gonna create a pumpkin out of this. I just, I saw these in my stash and I thought, I think we can make a pumpkin with this, so let's try it. There they are, all done. Now I'm gonna get some brown reindeer moss. I got that at Walmart, by the way, and I'm just gonna fill this up and kind of fluff it up once I get enough in there because I want it to fill in the space of both of those little baskets. I'm gonna cut four pieces of twine that I got at Dollar Tree because I need to secure the four corners together to attach them. And glue is not a good option for this one. It's just gonna be a mess. So do a little more fluffing to get that moss up higher. Then I'm gonna set the top on it and I'm just gonna tie the four corners in a double knot and then trim off the rest. And then I will slide the knot towards the inside, which you will see. Bestie, thank you so much for all your prayers and everything for my husband. I appreciate it so much. He's doing better. I just wanted to say thank you again. God bless you all. You're just wonderful. So much support. What an amazing community this is. And once that's done, I'm going to take another one of those little branch pieces and I'm just going to hot glue it right into the center there. Make sure it hits the four sides of the little square I'm going to pop that into. I'm going to take those leaves. I'm just going to put some hot glue on the little stems and I'm going to stick them right in there next to the little pumpkin stem and then I'll hot glue down the bottom of the leaves so that they'll lay a little more flat. If you are enjoying this video and you know someone else who would enjoy it as well, please share it. That's one of the ways you can really help me grow my channel and I really appreciate that. I'm going to add a couple little acorns from my fall stash that I have here. I've got all kinds of little shapes and things that I use when I'm just trying to embellish. I think this one is so cute. It's very unusual, kind of an original pumpkin. So I hope you like it, especially if you like neutrals and you like things that are a little bit on the shabby side and just super different. been saving this Tide Pod container forever because I knew I had to make a pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to take a piece of a pool noodle and some of that nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to pry off that very top piece. We'll use it again in a minute here. And then I use my heat tool from Amazon to take off as much of the sticker as I can. I sanded it down. Then I'm gonna use a combination of plaster chalk paint. Then I'm gonna use some of the pumpkin chalk paint and also truffle. I'm just gonna dry brush using a chippy brush, the pumpkin on there. So I don't want it to be too heavy. There you go. 
And then I'm going to take the truffle and just add that as well, just to kind of give it some dimension. I want this to be, again, on the more neutral side. Thinking of my own. I'm going to use my little blade from Amazon. I'm just going to cut off a piece of the pool noodle to create a stem. I do end up cutting it down even shorter later on, which you don't see. It was off camera. Now I'm going to take that piece I took off. I'm going to paint it with the truffle as well as the pool noodle. I threw a bunch of pieces of foam inside to create a little height in there. And then I'm going to hot glue some of that moss all the way around that brown piece at the top. I don't need a perfect snow. I've also got a little ping pong ball that I had painted and put a like a skewer in so that I could stick it into the foam so it would stay in place. Now I'm going to replace that lid that has the moss on it. I'm going to take a piece of that three-corded nautical rope from Dollar Tree. I'm going to tie it around and make a knot, like a double knot there. And then I'm going to hot glue it around that opening to kind of help fill it in a little bit. So I'll just loosen it and hot glue like right around the edges. You're going to see me doing that right now. This was so easy. I'm going to take some long leaves that I have on a pick and I'm just going to hot glue them on two on each side. And then I'm going to add another little piece. It kind of looks like a cattail, I think you'll see here in a second. I'll put one on each side and I'm just trying to kind of dress it up a little bit and give it just a little bit more of that neutral, you know, but still kind of rustic look, which I am really loving on this one. I still can't believe I'm using a Tide Pod container, <laughs> but it was perfect for this. It's already shaped the right way. And I mean, gosh, you just use the backside where it doesn't have the little holding, like where you put your fingers to hold it. I'm going to open up a little bit of the bottom of each side of the rope just to kind of give it that shabby feel. And that's it. I mean, that is it. This one is done and what a cute pumpkin it is. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just think it's adorable. And think about the possibilities now that we're using this Tide Pod container. Let me know what you think. watching you are truly a blessing to me let me know which one was your favorite today i've got another video on the screen that i think you'll really like so if you click on it i will see you there bye